You just did the Super Bowl with Usher. How did that happen? Well, we did it in 2011. Damn. And he came out with us, like when, we, when Black Eyed Peas played the Super Bowl in 2011. Um, we brought him out with us and we did OMG. Mm. And now in 2024, we did it again. And this time I joined him on his set. And what's crazy, cause we said I did it again right. this year, meaning because we did it in 2011, girl. But I we, see that. Mm. <laughs> no, it was, it, was, it was really spectacular. I'm really proud of us. Man, at, 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 we show, all are. His show is amazing. It was so good. Mm. Now, I noticed back then when y'all did it, when it was y'all set, he flipped over your head. Yeah. And then this time he went through your legs. Did you expect that to happen? No, so check this out. He called me at 7 o'clock in the morning like, you up? For real? On Sunday morning. Super Bowl is Sunday, 4 o'clock. Yeah. He called me Sunday, 7 o'clock in the morning like, you up? I'm like, I'm up now. <laughs> He's like, uh, you need to get over to rehearsal. I got an idea. So I get to the rehearsals, and he's like, how about I go through your legs on roller skates? <laughs> I'm like, well, how about if you bust my ankle? Right? He's like, I'm not going to bust your ankle. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, yeah, but we ain't camera blocked that. He was like, trust, Will. Like, if we was, like, in high school or something like that, this is what we would want to do. I was like, you know what? You're right. Let me, get, let me dig into the youth and just have the courage that you ain't going to bust through my kneecaps. He didn't bust through your kneecaps. No, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was it was so fun in that moment. It looked dope. Yeah, I had a lot of donuts that week. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> and y'all didn't, <laughs> didn't rehearse that at all? No, not, it just not, happened even, on not, even, not even one bit. Now, Will, where was your skates, Will? Can so, you skate, Will? So on, on, fri on, fr on Thursdays, it was Friday's rehearsals. Uh -huh. Friday's rehearsals, he was like, Will, why don't you just pop some skates on and just roll with me? Roll, roll, roll with us on, on, on a stage. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I just got this image in my head that I'm gonna be like so excited. I'm gonna be skating. I'm gonna like fly off the stage. I would be concerned for you, friend. I didn't, you know what I mean? It's just too, it's too much excitement for me to just bust my booty you on the stage. Like, we don't want you to do that. We don't want, but can I'm you like, really skate though, Will? I can skate. I need to see that. No, real. I, there's a, I can skate, but not. Skate to the level of like, yo, check me out, do I, my. Because they was like, shh, shh, no, no, no. I'm not. I, I would have been skating, you would have seen a whole bunch of imbalances. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it would have been horrible. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you just let him glide right on through and he did not bust your kneecap. Now, you know, I mean, they, we got to keep you intact, Will. Yes. Okay, now, you're a dreamer. Like, you are an innovator, and you, I remember sitting next to you on The Voice, and you would be, like, seeing the future right there. As a kid, what kind of stages did you grow up dreaming about performing on? Um, class assemblies. Okay, just, I feel you there. Just the talent shows. Uh, just basic stuff in front of my family at, at Thanksgiving and church um, and Christmas gatherings. What were you, were you in the school talent shows? Um, yeah, I, I was in Glee Club. You was in, so you were singing? Yeah, I had like a, I had a soprano voice. You did. Yeah, until until I hit puberty. <laughs> Most, but I I, I I hit puberty pretty late, so I was like high pitch up until like seventeen. Really, that long? Mm. So you had some range, huh? Yeah, but not like your type of range. Okay, but I mean, you know. I had I had, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I wanted to always perform for my family. Like the family was. You know, let me, I can't wait for this Thanksgiving. I can't wait for this Easter. I can't wait for this family gathering. And I'm gonna show my dance moves. I'm gonna show my, look at this rap. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I remember uh, I came home from school one year. I'm like, Ma, um, it's sex ed. And I did my homework in the form of a rap. She's like, well, you better get your button in books. <laughs> anybody, anybody got you writing no raps for school? I'm like, no, Ma, listen, listen. So I wrote, I got an A. You did? Mm. Cause it was so unique and. No, it was just the perspective of being born. I said, uh, when I arrived on planet Earth, my arrival was rugged, exiting canals of the birth twos. I struggled through tight walls, my fist balled up to the point where my strength transformed into lockjaw. These are emotions of a fetus, dying to escape, so I began kicking the uterus. I'm trapped in a womb. There's no sharp object to puncture the blue liquidated room and there's no oxygen, it's just liquid breath. Any sound I make don't mean nothing because it can't escape the walls of flesh. My cries for help seem to ricochet, sinking into cell cavities, I need a remedy. That was my, uh, 
That was my 17-year-old, 17-year-old health homework. What did your teacher say? She was like, that's really, that's really creative. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was just putting myself in the perspective of the child being born. You did a mighty yeah. thing. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.